Congressman Mark Wayne Mullen of Oklahoma is trying to hold Democrats accountable right now. He just introduced a resolution to expunge the first impeachment of President Trump, citing the Democrats' abuse of the Constitution for political gain. Well, Congressman Mark Wayne Mullen joins me now. Congressman, welcome to the program. Thanks for having me on, Grant. And I couldn't agree more with your open, opening statement. I mean, um, everything you were saying, I was sitting there shaking my head. And I was like, yeah, that's absolutely correct. It is a very dangerous situation you have. You've got a corrupt family in the White House. Yeah, uh, it sure is. And, and no investigation to get to the bottom of any of these questions. Right. Um, and I think what you're doing, what's happening there, it's all connected. Look, I know you know this resolution will probably go nowhere with a Democrat-controlled Congress, but it's probably more than just about getting this passed. Tell me what your goal is here, Congressman. Well, our, our goal is to expose uh, the hypocrisy from, um, uh, from the Democrats. I mean, they go out and they, uh, they accuse President Trump of a phone call that was supposedly misled and, sometimes, and somehow a, a crime. They can constantly, through the whole hearing, you had Adam Schiff and Speaker Pelosi going out constantly saying they had the smoking gun, that the whistleblower, that this was going to be, this was going to be the slam dunk um, uh, in, um, interview, and nothing ever came by it. In fact, there wasn't one article of high crime or misdemeanor that is set forth underneath Article 2, Section 4 of the Constitution that allowed them to, to impeach the president. And our founding fathers warned us of, of politically impeaching a president. So what our resolution is, is one, to expose, but two, start the conversation, because we will take back the House in November. On January 3rd of 2023, we will finally retire Nancy Pelosi and send her home. Kevin McCarthy will be the new speaker, and we're going to start investigations. At that time, we need to be ready to go. And this is what that resolution does. You know, the, the chances of Speaker uh, Pelosi bringing this to the floor is next to none, right? But once we set the groundwork, we're setting the foundation to start building the house on, to start building the case that they covered up and they've used everything that they were doing and trying to accuse President Trump of doing. His phone call, what he did was perfect. Trying to, ho trying to make sure that Ukraine wasn't uh, um, uh, still corrupt underneath President Zelensky, even though he ran on cleaning it up, before we sent them aid was exactly what the President of the United States should do. And, and, and for them to accuse that he did something wrong, which he didn't, well, that's wrong, and we need to fix that wrong. Yeah. I think the great thing about this is it lets all of us, conservatives out there that are so frustrated by everything, know that there are those in Washington like yourself who have not forgotten about all of this. Um, no and way. it amazes me, the, the media is starting to take notice of Hunter Biden. I'm not sure how far they'll push it, but at least it is getting mentioned now. It's a travesty that it wasn't mentioned before the election. Let me uh, play a soundbite from you from Kate Bedingfield, who's sitting in for Jen Psaki as the president's po spokesperson, being asked about some of this. Uh, this is uh, cut 16. Roll it. What kind of American, let alone an ex-president, thinks that this is the right time to enter into a scheme with Vladimir Putin and brag about his connections to Vladimir Putin? And there is only one, and it's Donald Trump. All right, so she's talking about Donald Trump saying, hey, Vladimir Putin, if you got information about Hunter Biden misdeeds, release it. Well, that triggered the left. You knew it would, and I thought it was brilliant, Congressman. Yeah. Yeah, I, I mean, absolutely. When they start thinking that it's Donald Trump that has the collusion, when you see that Hunter Biden has had this collusion with China, uh, with Russia, as they're coming out trying to say they got a new world order, like we're supposed to trust a communist country. Wait, wait a second. I forgot the Democrats are wanting to go towards a communist socialist country. So maybe this is what they want. But for us, freedom loving patriots that uh, want to see the Constitution upheld, this is a scary moment for us, and we can't let off the throttle. We've got to continue to move forward to the pressure and fight, and that's what we're doing here. We need to set the record straight, not allow Nancy Pelosi to abuse the Constitution for her political purposes, not allow the Bidens and the Clintons to abuse the Constitution because they, uh, they have a hierarchy that they believe they live under. We have to make sure we uphold the Constitution. That's what Republicans are about. That's what, that's yeah. what patriots are about. And that's what we're going to do here with this resolution. Well, I, I love it, Congressman. As my uh, grandfather said, Captain in the Marines during Peleliu Guadalcanal, he said, put the hammer down. Uh, that is exactly what we need to be doing up there in Washington Absolutely. right now as Republicans. And I appreciate you doing just that. Congressman Mark Wayne Mullen, thank you, sir. It's always good to see you. Grant, thank you for having me on as always.